Greetings from Lancaster School District's Pupil Safety and Attendance Department. We are located at the Parkview Educational Complex, 44327 Fig Avenue in Lancaster, 93534. We can be reached at 661-723-0351. My name is Terrence Zeno and I'm a school counselor for the district. My official job title is Counselor on Special Assignment, Attendance Improvement. My job in a nutshell is to create awareness about school attendance, to look for patterns and trends in our data, and to present that data to all stakeholders. I can be reached directly at area code 661-723-0351 extension 470. Absences add up and that's what I'm here to talk to you a little bit about today. Missing just two days a month means a child misses 10% of the school year and that's the main purpose of the video today is to define chronic absenteeism, understand it, and discuss the negative impact it has on our students, our families, and our community. I'd also like to give you a little insight on the attendance changes for the 2020-2021 school year, and also give you a few tips on how to stay focused and stay engaged during distance learning. Chronic absenteeism is defined as missing 10% or more of school days enrolled due to absences for any reason, excused, unexcused, or suspensions. I'd like to talk a little bit about the chronic absenteeism and dropout connection. Our chronically absent students that have missed 10% or more, if this has happened to your student one time between kindergarten and third grade, your child is four times more likely to drop out of high school. A first grader with nine or more absences is two times more likely to drop out of high school than their peers. And chronic absence is one of the strongest indicators of dropping out, even more than suspensions and test scores. The connection to attendance and crime. 82% of our prisoners in California state prison system are high school dropouts. These students without diplomas are eight times more likely to become incarcerated. And we know that attendance is the number one predictor of graduation. Truancy are absences that are unexcused or have unverified, meaning there is no contact between home and school. And these absences are the single most powerful predictor of juvenile delinquency and also a huge predictor of drugs, gangs, and once again, graduation. Our children that are living in poverty are two to three times more likely to be chronically absent. And what that means is it has a lifelong effect. 83% of our children that are chronically absent in kindergarten and first grade cannot read on grade level in third grade. What that means is by sixth grade, our children have disengaged from school and have had trouble with difficulty in English and math, if not both. And by sixth grade, chronic absenteeism becomes a leading indicator that a student will drop out of high school due to disengagement. And this all starts back in kindergarten and first grade. Currently in the Lancaster School District, 24% of our kindergarten students have missed more than 10% of the school year. And this was 1920, last school year. 16% of our first grade students have missed 10% or more during the 1920 school year. That means we have a lot of work to do to get these kiddos caught up by third grade, so we need your help. Every year, over 1 million students drop out of high school in the United States alone. That's a student every 26 seconds or 7,000 students a day. 
and high school dropouts are not eligible for 90% of the jobs in America. So what that means is a college grad will earn over $1 million more over their lifetime than a high school dropout. A staggering statistic. Our students from communities of color, as well as those with disabilities, are greatly affected, disproportionately affected. Here are some rates by ethnicity. Our Native American students are the highest, followed by African American students, Hispanic, white, and Asian. These rates undoubtedly tie into the education gap and the achievement gap in the United States. So let's talk a little bit about how attendance is changing in the district this year. Daily attendance is absolutely necessary in order for our students to gain meaningful knowledge and make progress throughout the school year. Attendance is attained through a variety of ways for the day this year. We have a lot of learning loss last year, ladies and gentlemen, and we need to, to account for that and gain it back. So this year, we're gonna have a variety of ways to track attendance. One of them being in live instruction with a whole group, live instruction during a small group, documented work in the Google Classroom and submitting the work. And our teachers are going to record a weekly engagement record. So our students will be invited to attend class through their Google Classroom accounts located on their class link pages. In order to be marked present, our students must log in to the live sessions during assigned times. Attendance will be taken by our teachers and any student not present will be marked absent. If your child is absent, you will receive a phone call or a message informing you of your child's absence and the importance of their active engagement daily. Here are eight tips to help your child maintain focus and stay engaged during distance learning. Understanding the expectations, first and foremost. How much screen time should an older child be compared to a younger child? What type of consideration do we look for with our age groups? Let's determine what type of activities work best for your child. Is it certain types of distance learning activities that your child prefers over the others? Is it the synchronous live instruction with the teacher? Or is it more of an asynchronous one-on-one -on -one with you? What learning platforms seem to engage your child the most? Encouraging movement. Kids need to move their bodies frequently throughout the day. Allow time for exercise before your child is expected to focus on distance learning tasks. Reducing distractions. Whenever possible, reduce distractions when your child is completing a task and has an assignment to complete. A designated workspace that is comfortable for your child will be most helpful. Adjusting your schedule as needed. If your child is frustrated and if your child is very engaged in learning, consider working with your child on activities that are more difficult during times of day when your child is more alert and engaged, meaning adjust that schedule as needed. If you know in the morning is the best time to work with your student, make sure the difficult tasks are completed during that time. Using a checklist to stay focused. We all need these sometimes from time to time. Some of our children really struggle with focusing on basic tasks. And it's important for them to understand working through a process. So working through a checklist will be vital to your child's success. Giving yourself and your child a break and knowing when to take that. Your teacher doesn't want your child frustrated. We don't want your child frustrated. We don't want this to be a miserable experience. And it's okay to stop activities and give a break. And last but not least, provide immediate positive feedback. Each time your child completes a task, Provide immediate positive feedback. It goes a long way and keeps your child learning and engaged. 
as always, our expectation is every day and on time, even in distance learning. But we do understand things happen and perfect attendance is not a reality for all. That's why we strive for less than five days absent with excellent attendance. Excellent attendance will undoubtedly give your child more opportunities to succeed in life and more opportunities to engage in society. We thank you for your time. Please stay healthy and safe. Please reach out if you need us. Have a great night.